Lord, this morning I place every single one of those at the sound of my voice right at the feet of the cross, Lord. And I ask you that you touch them, Lord, that you touch them with your perfect love, that you touch them and that you heal their hearts, Lord, heal their wounds, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Father is saying to you today, come, come, come of those that have a heavy, a heavy burden in their hearts. Those that are full of afflictions, those that they have a heavy burden, that they carry a weight in top of their shoulders, that they carry a weight in their hearts, come to me, come to me, and I'm going to give you my light burden. Nothing, 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 nothing will be able to touch you. Just come to me. I'm going to overflow my love into your heart. I'm going to overflow the pure, the sanctified love, the changes that transform us, that melt our hearts. The Father is calling us to come into his encounter, an encounter with his love, an encounter with his kingdom, an encounter with his peace, an encounter with his face. He's calling us to his throne. He's calling us for us to seek him, for us to seek him with all our hearts, with all our mind and with all our soul. He wants us to be surrendered totally and completely into his arm. He's going to overflow his peace. He's going to overflow his love. He's going to overflow the goodness in his heart, his mercy, his grace upon us, his kindness, his loving kindness. He's going to overflow his loving kindness inside of us. He's going to melt us completely. He's going to purify us. He's going to discontaminate us. He's going to transform us and change us through his love, through that pure love, that love that doesn't know no barriers, that love that doesn't know no nationality, no positions, no titles, no degrees, that love that doesn't know no, no races. It's a love that is pure. It, it's a love that is sanctified. It's a love that melts, a change that transforms our hearts. That's the love of the Father. And He's testing our hearts to see where we're standing. What do you want? Is my question to you this morning. What are you looking for? Why are you running in your own desires, in your own will? You are not tired of running. You are not tired of bumping your head against a wall because it's happening to many. When we are running in our own will and desires, we are getting to a point that we're going to go against a wall and we're going to have to come to a surrender, surrender to the Father. It's better to listen than to walk in our own ways and desires because we're gonna go through a lot of tribulations. And the Father is calling you today and he's telling you, stop running, stop running. Come into me, come into my will, come into my word, come into my presence. And I'm gonna heal you, I'm gonna feel you. And you're not gonna be empty no more. I'm gonna give you the desires of your heart. I'm gonna heal your heart. I'm going to heal your heart. I'm going to heal your soul. I'm going to remove every pain, every addiction, every discouragement, every limitation, every sickness. Come to me. Come into my love. Come into my kingdom. Come on my feet. And I'm going to change your life forever. I'm going to change your life forever. I'm going to give you the mantle of praise. And I'm going to take away your pain. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you that at the sound of my voice, you bring into every single one of their lives, Father, your love, that love, they overflow us, they take over us, they melt us completely. And that love take us into a total obedience into your kingdom, into your will, into your word. Father, help us. 
help us to walk in total obedience to you, Lord. Overflow your love upon every single one of those at the sound of my voice, Lord. Father, overflow your grace and your mercy, Lord, so they can change their way for your ways, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord, with your amazing, your amazing, your love, your love, that love, and many, 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 because we have come from broken places. We really don't understand that love because we have not had an encounter with the love of the Father. <laughs> and many people that they are coming from rejection, this love is something that is like supernatural. We cannot even understand what this love is about. And sometimes we have fear in our hearts because our own experience in life we love. But I want to tell you this morning, you have not melt. You have not met this love. This love is something new. This love is something new. It's something that you have not experienced ever before. And when you really meet this love, because it's the love of the Father, it's the love that He has for us. Your life will be totally changed and transformed. So trust him, trust him and let yourself run into the arms of the father, run into his arm, run into his arm. And he's going to change you. He's going to transform you. He's going to feel you and you will not run empty no more because it's him. It's that love, that pure love, that pure love, that love that took him to the cross for you and I. That's the love of Ava. This morning, I want to ask you, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, I ask you that you receive him in your heart, that you open up your heart totally and completely to him, that you stop running, and that you listen and come to the feet of the cross, to the arms of the Father, that he's waiting for you with anxious. His heart, his heart is open. His heart is open open for his children and he's calling us to run run to him run to him run to the arms of the father so said to him this morning lord jesus today i surrender my life completely to you i surrender my heart completely to you i come into your arms lord jesus help me lord jesus I ask you for forgiveness for every sin that I have committed, sins of omission and commission, sins that I have committed with my choices, with my words, with my walk, with my decision. Lord, I ask you for forgiveness. I repent from the bottom of my heart. And I ask you to come inside my heart, change me and transform me, Jesus. I give you my heart, Lord Jesus. I know that you die in the cross for me. And you resurrected on the third day. The Father resurrected you. Father, and you sit at the right hand of the Father interceding for my life. Today, I surrender my life completely to you. I surrender my heart, Lord. I break every covenant with the world, with my words, with my walk, with my decision, with the devil. And open up a new covenant with Jesus Christ and my Lord and my Savior. I know that when I die and I open up my arms, my eyes, I will be in your arms in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you surrender to your life to him and you pray this prayer, you have come from death to life, from darkness to light. And there is a party in heaven because a soul is when one for the kingdom of light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, touch, touch, touch. Touch with your amazing love, that love that transforms, that love that melts the heart. It melts the stony hearts. It changes the heart. It purifies the heart. Lord, change us completely. Take over our mind, our hearts, our soul, the DNA of our body. Take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. And let it be you and only you, that one that is walking inside of us, oh Jesus. Take over, Jesus. Holy Spirit, take over. Take over. Train us. Train us. Train us to be disciples of Christ. Train us 
and let your kingdom come upon us in the name of Jesus. I bless you this morning. I glorify his holy name and I give him all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Shalom. I bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.